Okay, today I'm going to be covering the crimp method for the Mod 1 printer. Uh, we use this method here to clear out any uh, air locks you may have in the damper, uh, some of the semi clogs you may have in the print head, really any ink starvation issue that I run into. This is going to be my first line of attack. Um, it's also great for charging the system when you first put ink into it. So today I'm going to be working on the white lines as is the set of lines that usually give us the most issue. First thing we're going to do is uh, grab the white maintenance line from the side of, inside of the machine. Go ahead and disconnect that. Hooking it up to your syringe, making sure that it is snug. You want a tight fit. You don't want any air getting pulled into here. Okay. So we've got that nice and tight. Give you a quick rundown of what I'm going to do here before I actually do it. You're going to want to pull the plunger as far back in the syringe as you can. And you're going to need to hold that open with your hand. Um, there are sharp edges on the inside of the on the outside of that plunger there. So if it helps, go ahead and take a t-shirt or a towel and wrap your hand in that so that these don't dig into it. So when you pull the syringe or the plunger back, hold it open. Once you see ink start to trickle into the syringe, you're going to go ahead and grab all four of your white lines and crimp them closed. And what you're doing there is you're building a vacuum inside of the syringe. Um, and then when you go into crimp, it, you're actually shutting off the ink flow, which builds the pressure within the lines. And then once you go to let go of that crimp, there is a rush of ink that comes through this ink line, going pushing all the air out of the lines, out of the dampers, any air that's in the print head or um, you know, maybe some soft clog that may be in the print head, it'll, that rush of ink will just push it all out of there. Alright, so with no further ado, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this. So first things first, pull the plunger as far back as you can, hold it open, and crimp the lines closed. And the ink will come to a trickle with inside the syringe. When that happens, you can go ahead and let go of the crimp. And what you're going to see is a big, frothy mixture of ink. And once you see the steady stream after that, you can let it go. Now, that big, frothy, frothy mixture of ink that you saw there was uh, the mixture of air and ink. And go ahead and disconnect the fitting from the syringe. Go ahead and reattach it to its mate here. Attach that to the inside of the printer, and of course, anytime we pull through those lines, we go ahead and uh, do perform a simple clean, as this will clear the flooded cap capping station of any ink. And that's pretty much it for crimping the lines.